up YouTube? It's Eli Eli and I'm back in here with another video. And today for you guys, I'm coming with the crown video. I'm gonna be explaining how I got my crown the way it is. And I'm just gonna show you a method to where you can close up your crown quicker and faster. So without further ado, guys, stay tuned. <music> This is how my wig is looking right now, you guys. It's pretty much laid. I'm wolfing crazy. Not really that crazy. I'm about, let me see, four weeks wolfing. And my last cut was April 2nd. So yeah, I'm like closing in on four weeks. Next week, Tuesday is gonna be four weeks. Monday or Tuesday, one of those days is gonna be four weeks. I'm probably gonna go on another four weeks wolf. So I'm probably gonna wolf about eight or nine weeks, somewhere around there. Let me show you guys how my crown look. Now, some of you guys may say, now some of you guys may say my crown is not even that good, but if you've been following me along my wave journey and you see my older videos compared to now, you will know my crown has came a long way. What I've been doing is very simple. All I do is right after, you know, in every brush session I get, I take a fingertip of pomade I use this pomade right here, a cold label wolfing pomade. So, and after every session, I just take a tip and I put it in my crown and I brush for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, you could put the pomade every day or every other day. I put it about two to three times a week because you don't need to put pomade in your hair every single day. So I put it about two to three times a week but I do brush my crown every single day. And every session I get, when I end it, I brush for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, and you could brush either before or after your session. It's up to you. I just like to do it after. So after, I just spend some time. Remember you guys, when you're brushing your hair, you have, you know, eight angles, but technically you have nine because of your crown. You can't forget your crown. So after you've done, brushing however long you brushed half an hour an hour or whatever you just want to take that little 10 to 15 minutes and work on your crown what i like to use is crown brush i got this from swagrag.com elite eli for 15 percent off i like to take this crown brush and just get some good detail work if you have a curved brush, you could use the tip of the curved brush too. You, you could use that to get in there. But if you have a crown brush, you know, something smaller so you can hold it in your hand, it's easier. In one of my old videos, I use a crown brush and then I use the tooth brush too. That's also good. But right now, I actually don't have a tooth brush with me to use an old tooth brush. So I'm just gonna be using this. And also like this is just what I've been using, you know, regularly anyway. So I already got a session in earlier about a half an hour session. So like right now, for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna brush my crown and then I'm gonna get my nice session in later. First, what you wanna do is just brush your crown into place. So after you brush it in place, you wanna get some pomade. Remember you guys, 
you want to do this you know, after you found your crown already. If you didn't find your crown already, remember, you just want to just keep brushing. You're going, you want to keep brushing your wave pattern and then when you find your crown, and then you can work on it to try to close it. And the faster you start working on the crown, the better, because the rest of your waves, it kind of flows with your crown. So if your crown is good, then the rest of your wave is gonna be good. You just wanna take a tip. Sometimes you may have to go twice. So you just take a tip. And focus around your crown. Just gonna take a little bit more. About that much. Now, once you got the paw made in your crown very good, now it's just a simple part. You just wanna take your crown brush and just brush for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you're really getting in there because sometimes your crown, it plays tricks. Like your crown is hard to move sometimes. Sometimes it'll be brushing it upwards and your crown will be moving another place. So you really wanna just take your time and get some detail work in. When I brush my crown, what I like to do is like, for example, in my right hand, I take my right hand and I'll start. So I'll start from the bottom and then I'll just brush out. I'll brush out in a circular motion. Just keep brushing out. And then when I get to the top, I stop. I just brush out and come back all the way down to the bottom. So I do like a half circle. I don't switch over like this. Just keep brushing like this out and stop. And then when I'm done with that, I'll switch to my left hand and do the same thing. Start from the bottom, brush out, come to the top, stop, and brush out. That is how I've closed my crown the fastest and that's how I utilize both hands because I seen in the comment section yesterday and somebody said how, and they had problems brushing with their left hand because they was right-handed. And then another person said the opposite. They had problems brushing with their right hand because they were left-handed. And so, for example, you guys, if you're left-handed and you can't brush your crown with your right hand, just do what I did. Just try and brush with your left. You brush and then you switch hands. Don't cross over, don't be trying to brush it and go like this and try to brush. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is just train yourself to use your off hand. I'm right-handed, but I could brush my hair, my crown and everything with my left hand too, because I forced it so much, like I'm used to it. So like, that's just a tip.
right, so when you're done, your crown should be closed up. And what I like to do when I finish my crown session, then I'll take my soft brush. I'll just take my soft brush and just get like a quick session. And when I mean quick, like a quick two minute session, because when you're brushing your crown, even though you're brushing your crown and you're laying it down, like sometimes the parts around your crown, like your hair lifts up a little bit. So what you wanna do is just lay it back down with a soft brush, just real quick. Guys, now after you did that, your hair is all laid down, your crown, your hair and everything. Now it's the simple part, you just rag up. But I'm gonna be using this, I'm gonna be using a, a wave cap. You can also get this at swagrag.com with my coupon code for 15% off. I know in the beginning of the vid, you guys saw me take off a do-rag and a wave cap. But for now, I'm just gonna put the wave cap on. And the reason why I'm just putting the wave cap and not the do-rag too, is because this right here is my second session for the day. I still wanna get a nice session. So when I go get my nice session, it's just easier for me just to take this off. All right, you guys, now that is the end of the video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also, you guys, I'm on my road to 1K subscribers. At 1K subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. We're almost there, you guys. So keep subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, you guys, stay wavy.